Chef Bama here. You're, you're again inside my home. Today we're going to be talking about a very good southern dish. Biscuits and gravy. My nanny used to always make biscuits and what we would do with those biscuits, we would dip them into syrup and let me tell you, that was one of the best breakfasts you can ever have. Everybody enjoyed going over to my nanny's house. As you see in the back here, we have John uh, frying up the meat, the sausage for the biscuits and gravy. We're also going to be doing a omelet that's going to have rosemary, bell pepper, and onions inside. Let's go ahead and get started now with inside with the ingredients that goes with your biscuits and gravy. You can see on the scroll that came through earlier, but I'll go ahead and tell you, you're going to have two cups of self-rising flour, you're going to have three quarters cup of buttermilk or milk, you're going to have butter, and with the butter, like we said, butter makes everything better. You want your butter nice and uh, cold. Really, the colder the better for the butter. Colder the better the butter, right? With that, what you're going to do, you're going to take your butter and you're going to grate it. And grate it as best you can. That way when you cut in, is one of the methods they say in school or in this culinary world, you want to cut in your butter as best as you can. And when you see the shards here in a second when I'm done, you'll be able to actually see those inside the biscuit after you take care of it. We're not just going to do drop biscuits, we're going to do, uh, you ever seen those flaky biscuits on, on, on the shelf that's cost a decent amount of money? Well, why, why do you want to pay the money when you can do everything at home? And people, let me tell you, when you cook in a good mood, your food comes out better. I've always believed that. They always say if you're in a bad mood, don't try to cook at home because your food's going to, you're not going to really care about doing it. You're just going to want to hurry up and get it done. Let's move that to the sink. And if you see here, we have the shards of butter here. So what we're going to do next is take our flour, dump it all in there. This is where we separate the old school cooks from the new day. I don't want to get my hands dirty. We're going to take it in there. We're going to put our hands in there. We're going to mix it together and get it all nice and combined. So it's a little kind of like a flaky dirt kind of texture I don't know what other word kind of used for texture besides the like a crispy kind of flaky kind of type then what you're going to do next you're going to take your milk we're going to pour that right on in there put that in the sink now you can have extra milk on standby if you want but now what you're going to do is you're going to mix it all together you're going to, going to making your biscuits JB's still back there getting a sausage all browned up that way when we're he's done with that we can add in the ingredients that we need to add for the making the gravy that consists of salt pepper you get a milk and flour and I'll have JB get the flour out in a second add a little bit more if you need if it's too wet you can add more flour in start sticking to your fingers get it off there Fun part's about to come up when you gotta roll it out onto the counter here and start cutting your biscuits. You wanna set your oven at 450 degrees, cook them right at 13 minutes. I know people say 13 is a bad number, unlucky number, but I tell you what, for my biscuits, 13 is a lucky number. It's almost also my wife's favorite number. I don't know what to tell you. So now we're gonna take some flour, we're gonna sprinkle it out onto the counter here and dump your biscuits out. Yeah, it makes a mess, so be prepared to start getting it cleaned up. Or, if you have kids, make them clean it up. So now we're going to get it all together. We're going to push it out. Now this is where we start seeing the... I can see the shards of butter in here. So now, after you roll them out a little bit, or squish them out, if you got a rolling pin, you can do it with a rolling pin. Now you're going to take it and you're just going to flip it over. Squish it down. We're going to flip it over again. You want to just keep flipping until you're satisfied. There's no set amount of flipping that you have to do. Um, you can cut your biscuits as deep or as thick as you want or as not as thick. So we're, as we see here, the, the flour is starting to flake off like we're wanting to make it into the flaky biscuits. So we're going to roll it out or push it out one more time. John, how are you coming back there? Is it coming around? All right, so with that... What we're going to do now 
is we're going to pour the milk into his gravy here. Move that out of the way. We're going to start doing that. Here we go. When you pour that milk in there, it's one of the main ingredients. Now we're going to take all purpose flour and just throw it in there a little bit. I don't have any measurement for that. Uh, the more flour you have, more of the milk you need because you need to cook the flour and you need to cook the milk out. So now we're here again. Now we have our biscuits ready to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flake them one more time. I'm going to fold them over. So I'm going to fold it, press, and press. Now I'm going to get it to the thickness that I desire for my biscuits. Now people you can use mason jars to cut them with. You can use any kind of cup or cookie cutter. I'm going to use an Alabama cup. So we're going to take the Alabama cup right here, the best cup that you can ever have, and we're just going to swoosh them out and cut them out a little bit more. So now you have your biscuit and you can see the layers right here. So I'm going to take them, I'm going to put them on my pan. Take my pan here. Video purposes, I'll do three. You want to take your cookie sheet or whatever sheet you're going to cook on, you're going to drop it in the oven. Excuse me, John. And in there. 13 minutes, good to go. Again, that's at 450 degrees, 13 minutes. So I'm going to get over here and wash my hands. Wipe that off. So today is a real rainy day out here. We had a archery competition for the boys and the boys did fairly well. John's first time of shooting in a competition. He shot very well. He did a great job. Dylan shot very well yesterday. Shot better, shot a lot better than he shot last year. So now what I can do for you is we're going to take and we're going to start our omelet. And get all this cleaned up. Get our oven going. And with the omelet, you can go ahead and get your pan hot, get your oil hot, and we can start mixing the eggs. We're going to cut up some, some bell pepper. We're going to cut up some, well, we have rosemary that we're just going to pick off. And get a different rag here. Let's push all this over here and I'll finish cooking these off later after the video is all done. But for now, what I can do, first I'm going to take me a sip of coffee. Yes, mason jar with a handle. So we have rosemary, very delicious rosemary. It smells so good when you cook with it. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take some bell pepper, cut the top off, you can cut down the sides. That way you're not digging seeds out and all that fun jazz. The chef taught me that a long time. One of the chefs at the smokehouse I used to work at in Los Angeles taught me that. So now all you want to do is just cut them. Take it around, cut it down again. And I think that's all I'm going to use for this omelet here. Again, I have leftovers here that I can use for later on. So now that that's getting hot, we can take this and get my bell peppers on in the oven here in the pot. That's all right, John. How's that coming along? All right, we'll get a little bit more flour. He's going to keep tossing that around. And like with that, there you have it was still liquidy so we want to get a little bit more thickness to our gravy so now what we're going to do is take our eggs those out 
And remember, if you have any shells in your eggs, you want to get them out before, like I just did right there. Hopefully this video is a lot better than the last couple that I've been doing. I've been learning a lot about editing. I've talked to other people that do YouTube videos. And which they give me a lot of tips. I found a program on this computer here that allows me to edit. So you'll see the, the difference in that. I can hear the bell pepper start sizzling. I'm going to get my fork. Sticking up. Alright, so that means John just told me that the gravy's thickening up. So if it gets too thick, what we can do is add in some milk. I'll get that going here in just a second. Your arm hurting, John? Yeah. <laughs> I like to put a little bit of milk in my eggs. Nothing wrong with that. So I got my eggs going here. Got them all ready to go for the... What I'll do at this time is I'll just take the whole sprig and chop it up a little bit. That way it's easy to take out later. But you'll start smelling it here soon. I'm not going to get you, buddy. I'm not going to get you. So once the bell peppers get a little color lost to them, where we can get our eggs in there for the omelet. Now John, he's coming through with this gravy. Let me step in here, John. Show these fine people about this gravy. With well, the gravy here, it's coming along fairly well. We put more milk in it, so it's a little bit more liquidy right now. So we might add some, some more flour. So John's going to get back to doing what he does. And I'll put in a little bit more flour for it. Biscuits have about eight minutes left on them. So in the meantime, I want to thank everybody who has subscribed and people that have viewed. We have only been at this right at a week right now and we're almost at 100 views for the few videos that we have i really appreciate everything that you people have done for me as viewing i've had some people give me some constructive criticism which i greatly appreciate and we're going to take that criticism and we're going to work on it we're going to try to build and we're going to get these videos to where they're very well you might start seeing some uh ads underneath the at the bottom of the screen there that's okay that's just to help me out so if you don't mind, go and watch all my videos and see what ads are there. And something you might like, click on it. Let's see what it does. Now, yeah. for the rest of the day today, since it's, you see out the window behind me that the, it's real gloomy outside, so we're probably going to be stuck inside for most of the day. So that just gives us more time to edit videos. That gives us more time to make more videos. And who knows, we might do something else later on today. How's it coming? All right, so the bell peppers, as you can see there, maybe not, right there. You can see the bell peppers are sizzling up. It's time to throw my eggs in there. Oh, yeah. Smell that, JB? And get that going. That won't take long at all because I've had that pan hot. I had the oil hot. And that's what they tell you in school. Get your pan hot first. Get your oil hot second. And then you throw your products in and... Makes you cook a little bit faster. Don't you want to cook faster? Don't you want to cook good? Don't you want to cook happy food? People put your foot in it like they used to say. Make good quality food at home. Don't go out to these chain restaurants. Cook at home. When you cook with your family, they get involved. As you can see, John's here involved. Steven wants to be involved today. He might be in the next video. And it's all, it makes everything fun. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take my little spatula here. We're going to keep this omelet going. You want to get around the edges to turn it where it doesn't get stuck. And then you want to roll your eggs all around. All right, you want to tap on it to where all the eggs can seep in. That way when you're, you don't have a juicy, like soggy egg in the middle. So while the pan's hot and you roll these eggs around like this. And I keep coming close like that because the screen is going out. So I don't want it to go black. I like to see where I can, what I'm doing. So now, we're going to take this, and if you lean the pot towards you a little bit, you can take the, the egg and just put, basically fall in the spot. And then you can turn it around here. It's done, John? Yeah. Alright, so if you want to turn the heat off on that, 
take that egg omelet just like that. This one's not acting right, so we might have to redo that video later, maybe. I think that milk helped it out a little bit. All right, so John says his gravy's done. Let's find out if he's right. Let me grab a plate here. I'm gonna tilt this down a little bit for y'all. So now we're gonna take one of the biscuits that we've already done earlier today. As you see that biscuit there, nice and beautiful browned on top. And you see that when you flake it off like that, it comes into those different pieces like that. Have different flakes in it. That's okay, so what we're gonna do now, so we melted a little bit of butter earlier. We can put that butter on there to make it gleam, make it shine, make it look good for the video. Okay. It look good, John? Yeah. 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 Omelette's looking good. A little dark on the outside, which is the way I like it. So now what we're going to do, take this gravy. Yeah, it's nice and thick. I like mine a little bit more liquidy, but it's okay. Place that right on top there. And give me a fork. So when you have the, if you see this right here, ladies and gentlemen, it's pure greatness. You have your, your biscuits, you have your gravy. When you bite down into it, just pure, wonderful. JB's rubbing his belly. Hmm. It's flaky. You taste the butter in the biscuits. The gravy is nice and thick. I'm going to lighten it up a little bit with a little bit more milk. <laughs> but hey, biscuits and gravy on a gloomy Saturday morning. Who can complain? Lovely. Let me wash my hands. All right. So, I'm going to tilt this back up a little bit. We're going to edit the mess out of this video. So let's clean this up here. So now there's that. Yeah, whoa, well, I know. So now with the omelet, here we have the omelet that has, that you probably can't tell from here, but we have nice flaky omelet. It's a little browned on the outside, which is okay for me. It has the rosemary, it has bell peppers. We did not throw onions in there today, but you smell that rosemary? It smells delicious. So what we're gonna do now, Take this. Mm. So ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have omelets, biscuits and gravy, and coffee for breakfast. Thank you very much for tuning in. Again, you can subscribe to my page. You can like my videos. Please comment. I know there's gonna be some editing done today. We're running, this is one of the longer videos that we've done. So email me at John Harris, 3163 at Yahoo. You can look me up on Facebook. Obviously I'm here on YouTube. S subscribe, share my videos. Thank you very much. Have a good day.